Samuel Monzo, uh, born and raised here in Pasco. Uh, don't really have a church background, just grew up, not really going to church, just, uh, you know, just pretty bunch in between. Did a lot of drugs, that's probably my downfall on a lot of things. The reason I came to Hunter Generation is one time I was just at the gym, uh, just working out, and I saw an old friend, David, he actually came up to me. And uh, I also had seen on his Facebook that he had gone to Africa, so I figured I'd ask him what he went to Africa for. And when he told me his testimony, it just shocked me. I was just like, how can someone go through so much and then yet come out of it and be as healthy and, you know, as good as he is in God? And I just, uh, I was just wowed by that. And he asked me just to come to Wednesday. He didn't say anything, like, you should come, like, forcing me or anything. He just asked me, you should come, you know? So I was like, yeah, I don't do anything Wednesdays. So I came to check it out, and uh, it was just, amazing after that and uh, I've been coming back ever since and I don't think I'll ever stop. Uh, my life before church was a very big mess. I did nothing but come home, just do drugs. I didn't I didn't work out, I didn't do anything. I would just come home and just all of my thoughts were about was where am I going to get money for my next drug? Um, why? It was just a very dark moment for me. I just, I just knew it wasn't something that I wanted to do so I'm definitely glad uh, I was invited to church by David. Um, I was introduced into drugs about when I was 16 years old. Um, it, did, it became a daily thing at 17 years old. It, my choice of drug was marijuana. Uh, people say it's not addicting. That is a lie. It is very addicting. You can tell yourself otherwise, but no matter what, it's, it's not good. It's just it does lead to other drugs. I got into a lot of other drugs that I don't want to, uh, didn't want to get in, but being around it, you, you have a choice, but that choice just kind of gets taken away because everyone else is doing it, you want to be doing it, so I did them. Uh, my turning point was when I had seen my dad uh, at a party with his best friend. It was a big wedding. His best friend, I had asked him to, um, I asked him if he wanted a beer. My dad's been an alcoholic for as long as I've known. And uh, he had recently just started going to church for maybe a year at that time. And he told his best friend, no, I don't want the beer. So to me, when I saw that, an alcoholic, as, as hardcore alcoholic as he was to refuse a beer to, uh, from his best friend, I just, I knew right there and then that something as small as marijuana, I could throw away. If he can throw something that way for as long as he was addicted to that. Um, now that I've been coming to church, I've been seeing a whole lot of things different. Um, uh, everything that has been negative in my life, I could tell it's going away. Uh, it's just, it's, I'm bettering it as the way, the only way I can is just by praying to God and asking Him to help me, and I am receiving that. Uh, after coming to Hungry Generation, it's, it's been very uh, life-changing. Uh, like I said, I've been addicted to marijuana for since I was 16. I have recently put it down and put everything away. I don't have the need to it to smoke anymore. I don't want to do it. And I know coming to church is just going to keep me away from all that. And it's just going to better myself and everyone around me. Do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Do you promise to follow Him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes. Now, based on this faith confession and your commitment, we'll baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Nothing's gonna keep me down Jesus has said